Hi guys, so this message is relating to someone thinking that things have changed and because they may feel like they're not they're not doing the right thing anymore they're not on the right path or they may feel like it's like someone feels like their prophecy has changed this is what god brought to my attention this morning someone feels like their prophecy has changed and that things are not going to happen anymore because of all the turmoils they've been they've been feeling and god said to tell you that things have not changed things are still the same it's still the same and he said to focus and to stay busy and things have not changed it's still the same nothing has shifted the only thing that may shift when it comes to god's prophecies is the transportation so if you were on on a plane before and you were held back by something you may be taking a train now you may be taking a boat now instead of a plane but at the same time that does not change the prophecy there may be a little bit of delays but it doesn't change the prophecy sometimes disobedience can also cause delays okay but god is saying no nothing has changed to get that anxiety out of you depression out of you and not to worry that things are still the same and you have to have faith okay another thing that god was saying is that also you have to stay busy and not be distracted because because what happens is because you're so focused on the distractions and the distractions can be things that are not working out well for you. You're so focused on that. You're not even focused on the, the things that God is using to help you. You're not even focused on the instructions that God has given you to help make this prophecy come to fruition. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like when you're so focused on what's what's happening and what, what's going wrong and why things are not happening for you and you go into depression, anxiety and all that, your focus comes off of the end all be all goal the focus it's kind of like you get distracted in a race you know it's like imagine in your when you're racing and then you look back looking back will slow you down when you see people racing and sprinting do you ever see them looking back to see if their competitors are catching up to them no you don't ever see them looking back they just focus and move forward why because if they look back they're gonna slow down you ever had a dream that where you're running away from whatever is chasing you and you're getting away from that whatever is chasing you, you're actually getting away from it. But as soon as you look back, you start to slow down in your dream. It's the same concept with life. You have to keep moving forward and keep pushing and keep focusing on it and not focusing on all the negative things that are going wrong. Yes, it's good to be alert and aware of the things that are happening for wisdom and discernment it's important right but when you focus on all the negative things what's going on and and you actually don't focus on where god needs you to be you get distracted going to depression and then that's what sets you back okay i want to read a scripture to you and um it says here in proverbs 10 verse 4 to 6 okay lazy hands make make for poverty but delight hands bring wealth he who gathers crops in the summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son, okay? Blessings crown the head of the righteous, but violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked, okay? Listen, it says here, who, he who gathers crops in the summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is disgraceful. If you are sleeping during your harvest season, how are you going to reap the rewards of your blessing? God said nothing has changed with that prophecy, but there has been certain things that he has told you to do and you have been sleeping. There are certain instructions that he has given you and you were distracted. You were, may have been distracted by too much by the evil, or you may have been distracted by things that are you're not supposed to be distracted by, things that don't even really matter. But at the end of the day, the point is, if it's harvest season for you, and God said this is the month where you're supposed to harvest, Miracle May, if this is, if this is your harvest season right now, you can't be distracted. Okay, because at the end of the day, if you're distracted and you're sleeping and you go into depression because you're sad now and you're sleeping all the time, because that's why they do the spell works to make you guys tired. You guys notice that how like you're always sleeping? They do that to make you tired, to make you lazy, to make you tired. And they do that because if they make you sleep during your harvest season, how are you going to bring in your, your blessings? It says here, who he who gather, gathers the crop in the summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. So they make they do this on purpose to make you tired. So when you feel sad and you feel like something's taking your mind off of your prophecy, you got to get to remember that it's your harvest season in order for the prophecy to come to pass. You got to put in work. Put in work, okay? And no, nothing has changed. The Lord said nothing has changed. I love you guys. Bye.